a clip going viral, Eric, for Halloween is the clip of these people stealing. Shouldn't say these people stealing, not stealing, taking more than they're taking more than their fair share. You might say, let's watch it. Oh, here comes Pikachu. Oh, my God. All right. Obvious things out the way here. First, Eric, woman looks right at the camera, doesn't care. She may not know. She may not know. Father and mother both justifying this to very small children. Something is there for free. Take it all. Uh, Even though we're at somebody else's house, something's there and it looks like it's for free. You may take it all. This is the lesson we're giving these children. And it's an obvious it's obviously a terrible lesson. And I think that the like. You know, there's no crime being committed. It's put out there. It doesn't have a limit. I don't think that would be a crime if you said there was a limit either way. I think once you set set up something to be free, you don't get to, you know, lit, it, it's we are on a courtesy factor here. But the lesson that they're giving these children is the worst thing ever. And I will also say this. If you're going to come up to my house and take all the candy like this, there's got to be some sort of like egging system. I bet I got to be prepared with a Nerf gun, something like that. Maybe throw a bunch of honey at them so the bees get the Merrick. I'm not allowing this to slide in my house. Um, well, I think the caption there basically says it pretty good. Um, now, look, I think we're all we're, we can all we can all agree that, you know, every race is going to do this. You know, you're going to have white people and black people and probably not Asians. They probably wouldn't do this. (laughs) Especially not the Japanese. Watch Uh, Japanese videos. Um, Yeah. And they, I think it's pretty, uh, pretty well known. Like a lot of big time uh, commentators constantly use Japan as the quote unquote high trust society, neither here nor there. Um, It is a perfect metaphor for exactly what's happening, right? Like you're, you Somebody along the line, you know, told said something about this was compassionate or whatever. It's easy for them. Maybe, you know, the homeowner is out trick or treating themselves like so they lock the door. Maybe, you know, who knows? I don't I don't know if anybody actually did the research on where this occurred. Um, But I and to be honest with you, also, I sent it to you and I didn't know I didn't realize it was going to go that viral like that. I saw it like when it was first posted. I didn't realize it was going to get picked. I mean, it's on TMZ. It's everywhere. I didn't realize it was going to be that big, but it is a perfect metaphor for exactly what we're seeing. Um, And I just, you know, exploring the migrant neighborhoods that that are popping up in New York City, um, it's exactly it's exactly what's happening. They're saying, well, again, this is. This is me giving the benefit of the doubt and assuming that somebody thought this was going to be actually compassionate. And you know me. I think it's well beyond that. Right. I think this is obviously, um, you know, a managed decline and a very manipulative thing. It's quite clear to me at this particular point in time. I mean, you'd have to be a stone cold moron to not realize that the political regime in New York specifically is dead set on creating a completely controllable um, dependent underclass, right? Like that's well, before we get completely into New York, you missed Halloween. I don't you care about this. You didn't get to. Yeah, right. I had like probably a dozen children come. And even if you like don't what? care about Halloween. Yeah. Even if you don't care about Halloween, um, I think it's also a sign of literally a sign of the times that. I only got a few children at my house. I'm on a, you see in my house, bi- very busy street corner. Got about a dozen kids, got some mostly uh, probably under eight year old black children. And then I was handing out candy and Pokemon cards. Like there's no tomorrow. Yes. Pokemon cards. And that's it. An hour and a half, 12, four sets of kids. And that's it. It's a sign of the times that you're just okay with not, you know, celebrating anything 
There, there's no community thing going on here. I'm not asking you to stop by and come inside. I don't want that. I'm asking you to take your kids out into the neighborhood and have fun in a neighborhoodly way and participate in something in society that we can all enjoy, which is just candy and, and dressing up. Oh, the Satan, Satanism. But no, I, just, I would... just do something as a society, as a people, as a country, whatever you want it to be. And instead, what do we got? We, I, I'm sure my candy would have all been stolen if I left it out like that. Very good. But I just want, I just think that is a sign of the society and the illegal immigration where it's like, hey, just here's the entitlement. some free stuff. The entitlement, yeah, here's some free like... stuff. Actually, I want it all. And that's, you're right. That is the parallel I mean, of everything right now. Turn it up, Jordan.